that Socrates was facing his death and his execution after the apology, he made the argument that as philosophers, we've been near death our whole lives because we use reason to uh, keep in harmony our appetites and our spirits. So the body has gotten in the way of us kind of reaching the pinnacle. So the point here is that freedom has become synonymous with reason. Now, one of the things that is a weakness of reason is that anybody can make an argument. You know, just because it's a good argument doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. The 1940s Nazi Germany, these individuals were leading with reason. They were making a reasoned argument for what they were doing, you know? And it's like, well, logic can take you anywhere. This is why Kant was extremely skeptical with anything that was uh, good with qualification. He believed the only thing good without qualification was the goodwill. So even logic, which he believed was a gift from nature in order for us to by, be able to identify the moral route, even that was subjugated to the goodwill, the goodwill being that which is good without, the only thing that is good without qualification. Hello everyone and welcome to HD Philosophy Plays Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, we're going to continue where we left off last time, Rufus Shinra, uh, kind of made us a deal right there that we would go after Sephiroth and he would leave us alone, which is really interesting because that was kind of our, you know, our goal right there. So we're going to continue our playthrough and see how things go. So here we go. Play where we left off. Just iconic music. Oh, interesting. Okay, okay. So this is like a town. Makes sense. I think that's Aerith. Still very happy with me, huh? What? Locked? Oh, they're getting changed. Okay. Open the door already. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't open it. I'm gonna find a rich idiot. <laughs> I laugh because of how often that's happening nowadays. People finding useful idiots to do their bidding. Not always in the monetary way either. I guess I'll just go back and forth. <laughs> I like the decorations. Alright, somebody popped up over there. No, no, that's stuff to gather. Get behind you and take that stuff. Planet's favor still, huh? Okay. Yeah, all good things coming to an end. Uh, there was a possibility there to to work with Rufus Shinra. Okay, that's an, uh, that has stairs, so let's just remember that where that was. It's to my left over there. I mean, Yuffie's got to be here, right? an ether onion, huh? Oh, stop. Aha! All of that, and I got two antidotes. It doesn't seem like they, they hide crucial things. You know what I mean? Or maybe I'm just not finding the very well-hidden crucial things. The first class cabin. Well, I am first class. Sir, only ship's crew allowed in here. Really? This is all ship's crew, huh? It's gonna straight up lie to my face, yeah. Oh, there's gold doors, huh? 
These cabins are reserved for our first class passengers. Once we gone. My apologies. But these are the first class cabins. Other passengers are not allowed beyond this point. And yet, watch me. Oh, the Queen's Blood tournament. Oh, so you folks are going to watch me losing that over and over again, huh? Attention, passengers. The Queen's Blood tournament will be starting shortly. This is your last chance to sign up. Mm -hmm. The winner of today's competition will take ashore a trophy as well as a fabulous prize. Back to the room we'll no get up, sir. No problem. Decks are available for rental, so come and join in the fun. I do love some card games. I do like uh, Magic the Gathering. I was playing a Dragon Ball Super card game for a while. So, you playing? Learned how to play Pokemon so that my kids, because obviously my kids wanted to play that, so I learned how to play that. Oh, Red saw it. Red's like, you gonna take that, man? You're getting in on this too. Solely as a means to study human leisure activities. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me. He's like, I'm my in. Apologies. Sir, but I'm afraid animals are not allowed to participate. Oh, am I gonna pull out my sword? That's it. I want to speak with your manager. <laughs> I want to speak to your manager. <laughs> I love it. If you play, I'll be sure to oh you man. Off. Okay. So. Oh, the honeybees. I'm no mere animal, thank you. I am speaking to you very clearly. And my articulation is better than most most of the people here. Yeah, so they want us to start that, so Oh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go. This is what I was worried. This is what I was actually looking for. Alright, got my Phoenix down. Bulletproof vest and, and the wrist guards are still here. Talisman's still here. I don't own one. I guess I'll get one. I don't own one of these either. So I guess I'll get that as well. See, my issue with these is they're... Oh, this one's down. Okay. But my issue is there's only two. And a lot of the ones I have now <clears throat> are like four and above. So that's a, that's a drastic fall. Uh, I haven't fought in a while, so I don't, I don't need to worry about that. What is going on with my SP, though? I am not getting a lot of SP. Foil level 4 unlocked. What is this? Hmm. Sure, let's unlock another one. Okay, let's go to red. Same thing. Okay. All right. Go do my best in Queen's Blood. I don't know about you folks, but I, I want to get going with the story more. And we can come back and do all the side quests later. But I want to play the story. That's what I mean it for. Hate to say it, but I almost feel like Crisis Core went way more into the lore than what I'm getting here. Oh, there's <clears throat> another machine over there. More discounts. You gotta take the discounts where I can, right? Another ether. Okay. And anything else? No. So, like I said, I, I I love card games. The very first one being Magic the Gathering, of course. All started with Magic the Gathering. Um, but we got really into My Hero Academia. Me, uh, my wife, my kids, and I. I think so far that's the one that I've played the longest with my family. I mean, overall, obviously. It would be Magic the Gathering, 
from when I was a teenager up until when my I, went, I met my wife. She had a snake deck, and I had a ninja rat deck. Ink eyes being like my dark magician, you know. Nice. What was that, Cloud? You should come out here at night. He embarrassed himself with that dance. If you're going to dance, you got to do it right, man. Not that I'm a dancer. I'm very fortunate to have met somebody who does not like dancing. Oh, man. On, on that note, on that okay, okay, okay. This is this is this is an interesting discussion. On that note, um, when we were in Las Vegas, we we got the opportunity to go to a Cirque du Soleil uh, Mystere, and I think Mystere is the is Genesis is telling a story of Genesis um, because. What I could only describe is like Adam and Eve in the Golden Garden, like flying around together, right? Um, was so perfect in like the union between man and woman. No, they didn't make love or have, they didn't have sex right there. But the way they were dancing, um, it was just so on point, you know, where where she would give a little, he would he would make sure to compensate. So as they would fly around, and what Mystere does amazingly is they do everything kind of live and like with without uh, fail. Because people would people would uh, people would get injured. Like I believe one person got injured when we were watching. Anyway, anyway, dancing. These two individuals did so well and they were so in sync. I look at my wife and I'm like, you know, these two if they're if they were in a relationship, they would be amazing together in bed. Now, why do I say that? Why do I bring this up now? Because back in the day, that's what dancing used to intimate. Used to intimate. A dancing partner, a woman, man, you know, when they're dancing, when you're dancing with your partner, there's communication going on on the fly. You know, as the the music changes, as the melody changes, as you ju you you try to get in sync with one another, um, dancing was a form of communication that happened as you were kind of assessing if this partner is compatible with you or not. Now nowadays, I watch certain podcasts where people are like. Of course you're going to have sex before marriage. Like, uh, who wouldn't try out the car before they buy it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And I believe what they're really missing is that there were many techniques back in the day when it was you didn't have sex until you were married. There were many techniques back in the day that focused on those core aspects, that cross-functional skills Um in very open and cultural traditional ways and one of them was dancing right it's like if you guys are very good communicators well then you'll start telling each other the truth that can happen before you decide to marry this individual right you folks can dance with one another to see how well you coordinate if you're if you're very awkward or something like that on the dance stage, if you just don't gel or things like that on the dance stage, well then maybe you're not gonna be very good when you guys have sex with one another, right? But as we start destroying culture, as we start taking the ham approach to Noah and disrespecting what brought us here, the more we start to lose those kind of things right there. To well nowadays people are absolutely clueless on how to assess if these two individuals are good in bed before they get married. Maybe some of the traditions that we're throwing away answered those fundamental human questions that we've been dealing with since the beginning of our existence. How well two people are a fit for one another. Pretty good at this game, huh? Well, you know. I guess. <laughs> good enough to beat me, though? She plays? 
I guess we'll find out. All of us play. That's pretty cool. A little friendly competition could be fun. And who knows? One of us might win it all. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, you won't go far with that attitude. Oh, ye of zero faith. Ah, now's my chance. I'll be right back. All right, Barrett. Man of sanity. I don't play this. Come on. Nope, he does play it too. All right, we all play it. That's pretty cool. Maybe change first. Out of this? No, I'm starting to dig it. Tell me I don't look good. Like I was born. Dress blues. Obviously not, but. Let's do this. Oh, there's an upstairs balcony. Oh, I think I just saw that as I was talking to Barrett. Oh, oh well, that's that's why when I walked in here, I saw that I couldn't. Looks like past me had already figured that out. Here to sign up for our Queen's Blood tournament. Mm-hmm. Yep. So, who should I say is competing? Cloud Strife. You can oh use your real Mr. name. Strife. Do you have your own cards? Mm -hmm. Yep. Well, you're all set to join. Good luck and have a great time today. I want to see Red's deck. Be it'd be cool to see how they all play, you know. Welcome to the Shinra Eights Queen's Blood Tournament. Only one of our card battlers will walk away with the trophy and the glory in today's competition. But who will it be? I, T-Tog, will be your host for this spectacular event as we seek to crown... I am not good at this game, champion. though. So, Many passengers have told, uh, chosen to participate, but only one will emerge as its champion. Select one opponent per round, then defeat them to advance. Even if you lose, you can choose either rematch them or select a new opponent before reporting your results for that round. The winner will be decided after five rounds of play. Purchase cards from the attendant on the left. Um, and review the Queen Blood's rules. Okay. So let's let's buy some new cards. Where all my money is gonna go, right? Wait, 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 wait. What? Why can't I buy them? Oh, it's a booster pack. Okay. Crawler, Arch Dragon, and Copper Wire. Well, let's take a look at what they offer me. Um, no, Screamer wasn't one of them. Zamzelet. I should probably... Actually, let's, let's take a look at this. What does this do? Wait. No. Tell me about it. Okay. Raise the power of all allied cards on affected tile by three. So that's behind me. So it's a two, but it ah, doesn't take care of the front, though. So this would be good for, like, the ending. The ending card. Oh, let's see. Queen B. Crawler. There we go. Oh. It's the opposite of that other one. Yeah. Of the unit sweeper. It folk oh, but it's only one. Mm. When I play, when played, lower the power of the enemy card by three. So this is oh, it's a one as well. What is this to lower the power of allied on affected tile by one? Oh, these are attackers. Is it better than my rat though? I feel like the arch dragon is. Mm. I'm looking at the cactar right now and I'm like, huh. Raised power of allied cards and affected tile by three. Yeah, this this one hasn't been very good to me. I mean, yeah, but backwards, though? <sighs> that with the security officer might be pretty good, so let's... Oh, what I just take out? 
Oh, no, I didn't take out anything. Okay. Take you out. I don't like that delete. I don't like when it says delete. All right. No, he's good. And unfortunately, with the crawler, that's that's only in like the last position you want it. So I'm not giving it more than that right there. And this is kind of a last position one too, where they take the top two from me. But it lowers the up and down. I kind of like that over the toxic rat. I'm not going to lie. What does the Moo do? Raise the power of allied cards and affect the top by one. Okay. I just like that it, it hooks up. It hooks to the side like that. That's what's really good about that one. Shiva's my powerhouse. The Titan's a good one to take that. The Crab. Crab hasn't been doing the best. Okay. I might be able to get rid of the Crab for the Copper Wire. Okay. It's a bunch of ones. Which is okay. Which is okay. I still like this one better. So let's put this and this and let's get rid of the rats. Okay, let's try this. We'll start with our first pair. Don't let Regina's small stature fool you. She's as tough as they come. As for our second pair, Chadley with the win. Why can't I challenge this person? Or are they upstairs? Oh, they might be upstairs. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh hey dude. Name's Felix. Everything cool? You just shut up and play. <laughs> just shut up and play. Okay, dude. If Let's get down to roll, business. I don't have Ready? no time to play around. Set. What is this? this Must be a circus thing. in town. I'll shut this on this clown. Can I get a witness? Alright, let's do this. Hmm. Pretty good starting hand, actually. <clears throat> yeah, I love to start with the chocobo. Yep. Boom. Wait. So, uh, which do I lead with? And there's more where that came from. All right. Got my attacker. No holding back. Sorry, just like thinking. Decorum be damned, folks. Felix is taunting his opponent. coming as he maintains a solid advantage decorum be damned folks felix is taunting his opponent bring it oh this is destruction jesus can his opponent recover i got this no problem no holding back 
Come on, man. Mia solid and eats up a little. Felix looks asleep at the wheel. Wait, is he actually sleeping? You're mine. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. That's the way. Bring it. Felix looks asleep at the wheel. Wait, is he actually sleeping? You're mine. Cloud's opponent had better watch out. He's hungry like the wolf for victory. <clears throat> I got this. No problem. Well, the wires didn't help, but. No holding back. Come on, man. Mia solid and eats up a little. He looks asleep at the wheel. Wait, is he actually sleeping? Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. Well, those uh, attackers didn't really do anything, but starting with the Mo, the Moogle is the, one of the best. Oh, you aren't planning on dropping it. for a recap of this round's no. matches. Let's see how our competitors I'll perform. Be cheering you on all we'll the way I thought I was supposed to report it. Well done. Let's hope round one is the first of many wins. Hmm. Keep up the good work in round two. Okay, okay. Round one is over and done. Without further ado, let's proceed to round two. It looks like Cloud is on the prowl for an opponent to challenge. Who will he choose? Interesting, huh? Today's I mean, I could try to cheat the system and save, right? Here. Tournament is shaping up to be one for the books. No, we start with our first pair. Like it's small wonder if he's a little bit of a game. Tiffa. Or Aerith? Is there anybody else? I want to knock out our own. Who's this? Wow, so it's going to be a team kill already? That's a good one. You won't be laughing when I'm done with Now draw. Now draw. Love it. Yep, let's do this. When it comes to like Tiffa and um Aerith, it's like trying to make me choose between the two. No. Nah, way easier just to go against Barrett. Hmm. I don't need the attacker yet. So let's take you out. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Barrett is taking no prisoners in today's competition. I need to find out where he's gonna put his biggest before I before I go. So you're mine. Cloud is cool and composed. He's focused. I'm gonna do it. Okay, okay. That's what I thought. You're going down. Moo can take the top. Yeah. Bring it. Cloud keeps the hits coming. As he maintains a solid advantage. Watch out, because Barrett's wow. coming for you. All guns blazing. The tide of battle is turning in Barrett's favor. There we go. Oh, then I'll be able to attack the bottom one. <laughs> Looks like and take I've it. Got this one in the bag. Oh no, he took the. 
Ah, oh, I did not see that coming. Oh, you ass. Shoot. You're mine. Cloud's gonna need to up his game if he wants to survive. Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna win. Cause yeah, he's got attackers too. The tide of battle is turning in Barrett's favor. Uh, let's, let's try this. Uh, he's got good attackers. That's not where I want to start. Let's put you away. You away. I'm ready when you are. Damn. I it's on. Barrett is taking no prisoners in today's competition. Bring it. Cloud is cool and composed. His focus unmatched. Bam, son! You're going down. And there's more where that came from. No holding back. Cloud keeps the hits coming. Yeah, I gotta be much more defensive advantage. with this guy. Okay, yeah. I'm just getting warmed up. Bring it. Easy to steal that one right there. <laughs> Looks like I've got this one in the bag. Okay. Watch out, because Barrett's coming for you. All guns blazing. The tide of battle is turning in Barrett's favor. I'll be able to take it right back, yeah? Yeah, with that one. You're mine. Okay. I ain't done yet. Bring it on. Bam, son. Oh, he couldn't Don't take it. Down. Interesting. I got this. No problem. Oh, I think this is checkmate right here. I take all of them. Boom. Don't hold him back. Now you can't do anything. Watch, out. He's hungry like the wolf for victory. watch this. Ooh, I'm going to start attacking you guys now. Marlene, Daddy could use your help right about now. That's the way. And she'll seal it. Bring it. Boom. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. Ooh, I've got a feeling. Yeah, I had to play him way more defensively. I'm not familiar with Don't that. Don't forget to report your results to tournament staff so we can make that last match official. Welcome. If you're looking for cards, we've got you covered. For real? Best of luck today. It's time. Nice work, Cloud. You put in another impressive performance. Looking forward to hearing good news about <laughs> He's got a cloud. <laughs> that sticker on his face. Oh. Alright, who's out here? That's upstairs. Who made it? Aerith or. Oh! Tiffa's going against what's her face? Who's this? Ah, okay. There's you. Did Aerith get knocked out? Is there Ona Tiffa? Oh, and the queen. Oh, yeah, so Tiffa got knocked out. So do I want to play against the queen or... Nah, that other guy. I remember how much he irritated me from the first one. meeting you here cloud hey relax i'm only in the mood for cards i promise not to make you dance again oh yeah you're still going down cool. hmm. 
unless you lose. Then all bets are off. All right, level three. Here we go. Got my end game card already. Uh, I'm ready when you are. Let's give these good people a show. Andrea is the picture already, of confidence huh? and swagger. So, get the increase. Nah. It's only oh, one. Yeah. I'm dancing circles around you. Okay. That's right. Took the middle already, eh? Bad move, man. You're mine. Cloud is cool and composed. He's focused, unmatched. Andrea knows how to captivate his audience and his opponent. I don't know what I want. Bring it. I may work hard, but I play even harder. Okay. I shall be graceful in victory. And still pull this off. Can't even do anything more there. Well, I can put the Titan there, and then he'll try to take it there. And then I'm going to take it back immediately there. Giving me my two there in there. So, yeah. Titan here for the five. He's going to steal this back, but I'm going to take it right back with my security officer. Yep. Take it. Ooh. Oh, one. Okay. Just took it right back, just like that. Hmm. So it's the guy who's losing. Oh, and I can attack. Put that there. Get an attack off there. Oh, this is just great. This match isn't going in Cloud's favor. Can he still turn things around? The astounding Andrea Rodea is once again winning in No wrong one! This isn't your strong suit. Okay. Gotta turn this around somehow. Well, I'm already gonna win that one, but oh my goodness, I can't believe I put the wrong one there. That's <laughs> so stupid. No oh one. man. Cloud's opponent has better watch out. He's hungry like the wolf. For victory, Andrea's fallen behind. Andrea lost. Oh, what a stupid move. My goodness. And the other one's worth more, too, so an absolutely a terrible move. I must say, you have a gift, Cloud. Be it at the card table or on the dance. You're a star, darling. You're just good at everything you do, Cloud. That's a win for Cloud. His star is on the rise. Don't forget to report your results to tournament staff. Kind of want to fight her, too. Yeah. Oh, is Tiffa with her? No. So, oh, somebody else is with her. Okay. Let's see how our competitors perform. Wrong one. Incredible. He's got the two buttons now, too. Oh, man. I can't wait to see what you do in round four. I have a fan, everyone. <clears throat> Is it going to be the pink card lady? Like, no matter what, it was always going to be. Oh, look at that. Aerith is still in it. Good for you. Ah, oh, Chadley. It's like, it's going to be Chadley no matter what. Wait, why are you... I beat you. I guess you don't find out who gets eliminated then. <clears throat> Would you like to play a map? You're in this too? Correct. I was told that a sophisticated AI was competing today. I just had to see it in action. Oh, you interesting. Threatened? Oh no, not in the least. Though if anyone were to feel threatened, it really ought to be you. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, we're dealing with a lot of AI problems now in like academia. Quite confident. Well, Cloud, let's throw down. Some say. are saying like, um, 
you know, why fight it kind of thing. And it's like, well, I mean, you got to fight certain things. So, for example, if my class in Applied Ethics has a, a KPI of a, a key performance indicator of um, critical thinking, like as, as one of those foundations, well, then I need to make sure that my students aren't using AI to formulate their arguments. You know, so that is something that cannot bend or break right there. They can use it for information, but if I find that they're using it to critically evaluate things, well, then that's where there's a problem. Oh my goodness, what a terrible, terrible hand to start. Yeah, you're out. Shoot. When you are. Hmm, security off and another copper wire. I'm gonna have to get rid of him. <clears throat> I don't need that many of him. Let's throw down, as they say. All right, where are you starting, buddy? Okay. It should come as no surprise that Chadley is projected to win. Bring it. Cloud is cool and composed. Trying to be. Wow, I was bold. Fighter flight response. Already. There's more where that came from. Cloud keeps the hits coming as he maintains a solid advantage. Okay. Chadley's play has been flawless. Can he keep it up? Okay, I'm definitely gonna have to get rid of these, especially if they attack my own people like that. <clears throat> You're mine. Cause you're gonna try to take that middle. Yeah, knew it. Oh. Heart rate indicates fight or flight response. I'm just getting warmed up. Think so? Chadley's play has been flawless. Can he keep it up? Your mind. These are favorable conditions. Opponent's heart rate indicates fight or flight response. Every move Chadley's made has been perfectly calculated. Bring it. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. A rare misstep by Chadley, but will it cost him dearly? projections opponent's heart rate indicates fight or flight response not looking good mm. yeah i don't know how this thing right here i three all oh, the back three jesus that's what did it if i take you out it'll still be me having it right and this one's aimed up this one's aiming back this one's aiming back so it'll only be a one here anyway and not a two all right we need to rematch restart okay yeah these guys gotta go 
one is fine, not two. Cactar is actually pretty good if I don't know how he's he's getting that he's getting him to work behind though. Is that three? Yeah. That's extremely specific. Took a couple are out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna be able to get a three. Two riots. Grenada. Unit sweeper is good. Which I have another mog. Flan helps behind. You help behind. Let's try you. Yeah. Start with you. Don't need two of you either. I'm ready when you are. That's the one I want to start with. Let's throw down, as they say. It should come as no surprise that Chadley is projected to win. You're mine. Current projections show my victory is all but assured. indicates fight or flight response. No holding back. A masterful play from Cloud. Can his opponent recover? At least scanning for an opening. Will he find one in time? You're mine. Nah. Recalibrating due to unforeseen action. <laughs> Opponent's heart rate indicates fight or flight response. Can still pull this off. You're useless. Taking that back, I did not foresee that. Yeah, take you back, get the three there. Cloud's opponent had better watch out. He's hungry yeah. like the wolf. That's pretty I'm sick victory. that I can do that. I got this, no problem. Oh, I'm gonna take this back. You're gonna take that, I'm gonna take it right back with this. No holding back. Opponent exceeding initial projections. You have to play there. Opponent's heart rate indicates fight or flight response. A rare misstep by Chadley, but will it cost him the It will. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. That's the way.
your mind. All right, I'll be right back. Oh, well, I should actually finish this up first, and then... Oh, yeah, playing, uh, I guess with the deck, the deck that I built, playing a much more defensive game really helps. Actually, what I do like about that, that thing is it allows me to delete one of my own cards, giving me uh, an advantage over particular situations. Like, I can delete a card and then put something else there. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Nicely done, Cloud. That was quite the match, I must say. I'm looking forward to you winning it all. We will see. Congratulations on making it to the finals. Allow me to escort you. Right this way, sir. All right. Be right back. All right, here we go. Let's see. Make sure everything's good. Level five. Oh, they're all watching. Okay. We knew it was going to be her. So, the AI. So you're the one to beat. The one to lose to. Regina Conigan, Queen of Cards and reigning champion. Until now. Aw, that's cute. Word of warning. I'm not just going to beat you. I'm going to destroy you. We'll see about that. Everyone always says stuff like that. We'll see indeed. <laughs> Gotta love the confidence. Let's play. Alright, what do we have? Um, don't need to start with two. I hit the wrong button. At least try to make it interesting. That's a great one to start with. Wow. What is this hand? Bring it. So, do you want me to crush you now or toy with you first? I had a feeling I was gonna, I was gonna do that. There's more where that came from. The question is, are you actually going to put something there? Just getting warmed up. Bring it. So predictable. You're gonna have to work harder than that if you want to win. It's small wonder Regina's the talk of the tournament. Her game is on another level. Good mind. Our future in this competition is looking pretty grim. Still pull this off. Took it right back, eh? No holding back. He may be down, ladies and gentlemen, but Cloud is not out. What a play by Regina! She's the one to beat, folks! Victory is all but assured for Regina, and she knows it. Cloud keeps the hits coming as he maintains a solid go. advantage. Regina okay, here we go. Um, it's incredible. I'm going to put three there, but it really doesn't matter. I've won this already. I put five there, I tie that up, but that's kind of just greedy. He's hungry like the wolf for victory. Cloud isn't letting up the pressure one bit. <laughs> Just you wait. I've already won. No problem. 
No holding back. Cloud's opponent had better watch out. He's hungry like the wolf for victory. That was a sound, sound victory. And not a very good starting hand either, but with that insect, and just delete those soldiers. Ladies and gentlemen, after that heated battle, we are finally ready to crown the winner of tonight's tournament. I present to you... Not so fast, good captain. I've yet to show my hand. <laughs> All right. Somebody do that? It's like that evil moment where that that, that guy just jumped on the stage with uh, Chris G. Mystery challenger, secret, secret adversary. Seriously? Though I am far from a humanoid, the illusion can be maintained with the aid of a little flamboyance. <laughs> Impressed? No. Don't let prior knowledge blind you. Clear your mind and take another look. But enough talk. I've issued you a challenge, Cloud. Face <laughs> I'm loving this yeah. though. Hard pass. I've had enough cards for one night. Oh, come on. You got this, Red. Oh yeah, it's all. Come on. Humor him. <laughs> Red should play like a straight up tactician. All right then. Let's play. Shuffle up and deal. Hmm. Don't need to start with two of you. Oh, I love it. I love starting with this. Alright, where are you going? Okay. That guy hurts your own people, though. You're mine. You're mine. Take this. Alright, where are you going now? Bottom. Okay. It's almost like he's mirroring me. Nah, I'm taking it from you, man. Yep. Bring it. The game proceeds in my favor. What now, Cloud? Still pull this off. Actually, I could, I could steal it right here. I'll take all of these, and then he'll be able to take one of them, and I'll take the other ones and win. No holding back. Cause Shiva will steal it. Just getting warmed up. Your mind. Nothing stirs the warrior spirit like a close battle. I love it. Okay. Gotta turn this around somehow. I shot on each of it to steal it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it right here. Yeah. No holding back. Well, 
Are you prepared to admit defeat? Oh, is that gonna attack up there? No, oh, oh that was good. that could have that could have been damaging. Yeah. Bring it. Nothing stirs the warrior spirit like a close battle. What I planned on doing before, I think it would have been the better one. So good. But the five on Titan was hunter must be observed. I was just been too been tempting. Then the strategies. It was just a matter of applying what I'd learned. Huh. Certainly paid off. Ladies and gentlemen, our champion, Cloud Strike. For your magnificent performance tonight, I present to you this sparkling trophy. Congratulations. <laughs> Ifrit and the Terror of the Deep. And on that incredible note, our Queen's Blood tournament draws to a close. Thank you again to our amazing contenders for making today. The card game memory. itself kind of um, mirrors what happens in like a, a capitalist, a meritocracy kind of system. Where it's like if you keep winning, you keep getting stronger cards. It's the same thing if like you do really well, um, then more opportunities come your way. in the morning, right? Yeah. I've got to check these cards. How do I copy this deck? No. Um. Override deck number three with deck number four. No, absolutely not. I'm not playing this one anymore, so edit deck, copy, yeah, override deck one number one with deck three, absolutely yes. Okay, so now deck number one, I can mess around with my new cards. I really like the arch dragon, that, that worked out really well. Hmm, what did I get? <clears throat> Terror of the Deep. So that's you but a little bit stronger, and everybody gets one. But, man, getting a three on there. And another three, huh? It's like an like endgame, win-all type of thing. What would I get rid of? I don't know, I feel like my... Oh, I probably have too much Levacron and Grassland Wolves. <clears throat> I can get one of, I can get rid of a glass uh grassland wolf because I have moo. So I can put an end game one like this in here over the wolf. There we go. Give that a shot for a while. Well then, I'm going to get me so much needed. You all can do as you please. Nah, you'll come with. Feels better than rocking along to the ocean of the ocean. There's a local song in Hawaii, Rhythm of the Ocean. It's like, um, I urge anybody to listen to it <clears throat> to see what the island life is like when you're in the water for too long and you go to sleep or you lie in bed. When you lie in bed, you actually still feel the rhythm of the ocean. That's by a Hawaiian style band. All right, so I guess I'm out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Their rooms are now open. <clears throat> I wasn't able to get into their room before. <laughs> and that other room, too, across them where that kid was locked. Solaris. Mm -hmm. 
still locked in there, eh? You're so rude. Man, like traumatizing this poor kid. Can't open this one? Oh, no, I can. Okay. Bunch of masked hooded guys. And that kid stuck in there. How rude. Alright, time for me to nap already. Not me in real life, obviously. Pretty tired. Yep, Costa del Sol. Mm, here we go. Oh wow, I forgot about that. <clears throat> he did make himself known here, didn't he? Military personnel are to report to the deck immediately. Military, huh? Guess that's us. Yeah, me and Red. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. These are open now. Can I get in? Shucks. It's like, ah, oh, the first class quarters, right? Over here, quickly. The whole ship is crawling with beams. They're everywhere. Please, you have to help. Copy. We're on it. Good. I'll round up the stragglers, but there's a lot of ground to cover. You, give me a hand. Lead the way. Thanks. Follow me. So I really like Tiffa in the original one. I was much more of a Tiffa guy, but in this one, Aerith is so endearing. It's, she's definitely my favorite of the two in this iteration. That's quite a few fiends there. Bring it. Here we can take the lead. Ah, shit. Don't you cross no way. Keep it together. I'll take care of them. Okay. Get him. Three. Uh, let's see. She has a uh, Chrono Ages. Ready when you are. Yeah, that's the one. You ready? Let's do it. It's on you. I'll show you what I can do. Sick move right there. I got this. Oosh. Don't overdo it. You're up. So it's my turn? Break yourself. How shocking. I think we're almost done. 
That's the one I have to hit right now. No. Ooh, just in time. Jeez. Keep it together. I'll take care of them. Oh, I missed a couple. Uh oh. We can handle this. Over here. You okay? Yeah. But those screens, they got below deck. Tifa. Little help here. Deal with that. I got you. Where's Titov? Don't know. He said something about getting more firepower than took all. Well, might as well while I'm here. We know what this ends with. Big question is like, how long are we gonna wait for the third iteration? You know. Or do something about it. The themes. Nope, we're gonna watch to see what happens. Taking them over. Assess, see what these guys can do. Weaknesses to not much. Oh, that hit us both. Shoot. I was guarding, but it's like I put it away for me or something. Keep it together. Okay. 
I wanted to guard and then go to the other person and guard, but when I left the other person, it was like I took away the guard. No, they're definitely not. But something about this is actually giving me a headache right now. currently en route to Costa del Sol. Unidentified fiends have surrounded and boarded our vessel. A small contingent of troopers is engaging the creatures as we speak. And... The fiends have merged with some of the passengers. Oh, where'd they get that camera shot? Tattooed men in black robes. Mm -hmm. I contacted public security, but they said this falls under your jurisdiction. Mm -hmm. <laughs> An intriguing development, this new mutation. Mm, and one resulting from fusion, no less. The superior genetics producing a far stronger being. How I envy your opportunity to be present for this epochal event. At the very least, I must harvest a sample of its DNA. So, what should we do? See, what's interesting about Hojo, he's just scientific curiosity, you know? I, I don't know how many of those remember, but in the original Final Fantasy VII, Hojo sent Sephiroth to Nibelheim knowing that Genova would be there. It was almost like pure scientific curiosity when J Sephiroth would find out his origin story, you know, and what would happen. Um, I don't... It, don't know if Hojo knew he would go insane and start slaughtering everybody. No idea. He does talk about Sephiroth as being like the the ultimate specimen uh, as far as the soldier goes, because he always kind of chides Cloud um, uh, based on that. But what's really interesting about the scientific endeavor is there's a discussion nowadays, especially in morality, of um, morality being based off of reason. Now, one of the reasons morality seems like it must include prudence, the ability to uh, make an argument for why you're making a certain decision, is because free will is necessary for morality. In order for you to be judged for your action, you have to you have to have had the opportunity to choose otherwise. Um, but more importantly, from this Platonic idea of rationality, uh, rationality in a Platonic sense is when your your spirits and your appetites are all uh, being held in control by your reason and that is the only time you're free you're only free when your reason leads and we can think about this like if i get extremely angry and my passions take over well i'm not making a free decision i'll go wherever the wind blows my rage at that at that particular time and then uh, uh this so that's the spirited right um but it's the same for the appetitive side the appetitive side is like food sex hunger and things like that like if i'm just absolutely a uh, famished and i'm hungry or if i'm tired i can't really think straight right so it's like the body taking over uh, the mind which is something when Plato was looking at, uh, when Socrates was facing his death and his execution after the apology, he made the argument that as philosophers, we've been near death our whole lives because we use reason to uh, keep in harmony our appetites and our spirits. So the body has gotten in the way of us kind of reaching the pinnacle. So the point here is that freedom has become synonymous with reason. Now, one of the things that is a weakness of reason is that anybody can make an argument. You know, just because it's a good argument doesn't mean it's the right thing to do. The 1940s Nazi Germany, these individuals were leading with reason. They're making a reasoned argument for what they were doing, you know? And it's like, well, logic can take you anywhere. This is why Kant was extremely skeptical with anything that was uh, good with qualification. He believed the only thing good without qualification was the goodwill. So even logic, which he believed was a gift from nature in order for us to by, be able to identify 
the moral route, even that was subjugated to the goodwill. The goodwill being that which is good without the only thing that is good without qualification. Hojo could be could be just a scientific curiosity in order to see where the cards may 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 fall, but that is not very ethical, you know. But what if we take the scientific endeavor as somebody wants to fake results for noble reasons? Well, then it gets a little bit more shaky, right? Now we're on a little bit more unstable grounds. Uh, say this person's funding is for cancer research, but he needs to find an affirmation uh, in his studies that allows him to keep cashing these paychecks in order to eventually find the cure for cancer. Well, why shouldn't this individual fudge his numbers? You know, why shouldn't he? Science is never certain. You know, Descartes kind of made sure of that right there. Also, Hume's... Uh, Hume's uh, skepticism when it comes to induction showed this as well, you know, so Hume's fork. Um, so science can never be certain. So you always have that, un that uncertainty. So why shouldn't they fudge the numbers in the realms of the uncertainty in order to get more, uh, get more money to eventually cure individuals? The allegiance to truth starts to find itself on skeptical grounds purely based on logic alone and this is where science can go very horribly wrong in the realm of curiosity in the realm of just pure discovery you know you leave the moral component out of the equation when you're like pure discovery when the telos itself is just to see what happens you know and i feel like that's kind of what uh, hojo represents here almost like reckless scientific investigation and the cold calculation that comes along with it you know almost that luciferian cold calculation that comes along with it you know where the humanity is lost and things like that so ensure the experiment proceeds uninterrupted and in return you will have pride of place in my lab however do mark your body to aid in identification. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Start losing his humanity. Barrett. Come on. I was wondering if he was going to show up. There's no way he was going to sleep through all of this. Oh, 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 oh. Where is our... Yeah, we can definitely use healing. Did you see that, though? One out of three, two out of five. So there's some side quests. and uh, Two side quests I need to do here. I wonder if I can pop back on the ship. Like, do I miss out on the side quests if I don't do them now? Make sure I'm still okay. I just can't bring myself to play Tekken. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the game, but it's not Dragon Ball Fighters, you know? Maybe I should just like go with it and play Dragon Ball Fighters. Keep playing Dragon Ball Fighters. And get to the highest level I can and ranked with it with you folks. He had enough sentience to run. Same one and another one. Okay. This one is long. So I was going to Yeah, I was going to that a little late. Oh, that was a good hit. Wow. 
Oh, I just put the I just put it up too. Yeah, I'll probably do that. There, there was nothing um, that got me more into fighting games than Dragon Ball. And they just upped the net code. So I was going to take a little while to get my, my hands uh, ready again. But I think Dragon Ball is the way to go, everyone. And so I'm, I'm going to probably start doing um, Dragon Ball Ranked and see how far I can take my, my tournament team. Oh, but be warned, man. You all are going to see me rage hard. There's nothing that drives me more bonkers than that game sometimes. Because right now, it's just an absolute madhouse. Like there, There's no neutral being played at all anymore. Let's get triple strike down. That dive kick is really good. I don't know. Tifa's kind of just like the the what is that childhood love interest, you know? Yeah, she might also represent like the promise made, you know? And the anima, the one who is um, set on making Cloud a better person. But say Aerith is that as well. Most definitely that as well. Maybe that's the problem. There's nothing like solely um, unique about what uh, uh, Tifa offers. Although, you know, Aerith is a Taken. Is Taken, right? So, she should be like the non-love interest friend female. Wow, this looks different. That's different, most definitely. That was good. Wait, why didn't the triple slash come off? Is, is that because I took control of him? Don't overdo it. Well, at least we got the stagger off there. So, yeah, Aer Aerith has Zack, you know? That's her love. And I feel like Cloud kind of reminds reminds her of Zack. Yeah, so she, she might love him like a friend, you know? But still, it shouldn't be picking Tifa just because Aerith isn't available. Oh, man, I just... Use the ether and there it is, and I hear Barrett. Three things to buy. That's cool. Ha! Echo Mist. Si for silence. Okay, that's a nice little hint of what's to come.
And the thing about that is I, I did sign up for Tekken at Evo, but um, I'd rather, I think I'd rather just continue building my skills up in Dragon Ball to see how far I get there. All right, here we go, I guess. Come and get it, asshole. Yeah. Oh, hey. Protecting them. Try to keep these guys alive. That's awesome. They won't fight back. Stand aside. No. See, Barrett is really endearing, too, like a rocky figure. Those rope men have been merging with the fiends, becoming monstrosities bent on killing us all. So kill them, right? But no more. Not on my Isn't that interesting right there? Like, we have these discussions all the time. Uh, like, I was literally just talking about how the, the Nazi Germanys had a reason for their, um, not a good reason, but used logic in order to, uh, f in order to convince individuals to, to kill these other people who were enemies, perceived enemies. Well, there you have it right there. You know, this individual looks at these, these innocent people. Uh, these innocent robed people and it's like they can be used as weapons so if i take out the weapons i mean why wouldn't i right why wouldn't i murder these individuals it makes logical sense pure logic and reason you take away the enemy's ability to use them even if it means killing a bunch of innocents if you think about the covid lockdowns for example this is what, exactly what china was thinking right if uh if somebody has the COVID virus, well, then they lock them away in their apartment buildings and don't allow them to get out. Logical reasoning, right? The people in there will die, but at the end of the day, more people are saved, right? There's nothing more logical than the cold calculations of utilitarian ethics. The greatest good at the great at the end of the day is what one ought to do. Even if my means of achieving it are horrid, it's not horrid if the end result is good. So the act actually becomes moral if the calculations at the end of the day are worth it for humanity. And then enter Kantianism, who is like, absolutely not. You need a duty to the moral law itself, not for what it gives you, not for what it produces at the end of the day, but for the duty itself, for the virtue and moral insight, uh, for that insight itself. And so Kant was like, you cannot put people on the scales of justice or not the scales of justice excuse me, the scales of calculation you cannot calculate one person's life against another we as human beings are beings of infinite worth one of the one of the most powerful phrases that human beings have ever come up with is that man and women are made in the image of god that phrase right there that philosophical belief right there is what has led to human rights it's what's led to just war theory it's what superseded a person's ability to do whatever they wanted with the individuals that they conquered because why not right if i'm stronger nature must favor me and if nature favors me then the weak must endure what they can this is what the athenians told to the minoans uh, uh, the, the minoans in uh, on the island, uh, not of Crete. I'm thinking of like the uh, Mino, uh, Mino, the island of Crete. But in the Peloponnesian War, the this is what the Athenians told a a a, a tribe. Um, their their name is eluding me right now. But it's like the discussion of morality is only among people of equal power. In this case, you folks are nowhere near us. Paraphrasing, but in this case, since you folks are the weaker individuals, you must suffer what you can. The weak suffer what they must, and the, the strong take what they can. So it's like, well, this person with the gun, he's like, I'm going to just take out these individuals for the better of everyone else. These are the two towers of morality, everyone. You're either like a consequentialist and believe that morality is just a calculation at the end of the day, which means any way of achieving that, any cold calculation, this uh, this hojo kind of cold calculation is what one ought to do at the end of the day. Or you believe people are, you know, um, the, the, from the Protestant Immanuel Kant, uh, people are divine in their infinite value and cannot just be used merely as a means to an end. Funny how we were just talking about that, right? But we've got pretty good storytellers here, so. Hey, take it easy. Uh. And there it goes. Why is she in the... Oh, because she was... Don't shoot. Yeah. I'm not one of them, I swear. Move. 
she was trying to hide among them. I had to. For the sake. For the sake of my passengers and crew. Logic, right? Cold, calculating logic. Guys, guys, look at the dead guys. And again, I'm a philosopher, so I believe in reason. I believe you need to make an argument for things, but there was something like this this great um uh, it, it was an Islamic philosopher uh, in, in my graduate school, Mohammed Azapur. Absolutely amazing. One of my favorite philosophy teachers. He once told me, there's always another argument. And he's absolutely right. There's always another argument. Sephiroth. They say she's a monster. That she can peer inside you into the very depths of your soul. That she can become those you hate, those you fear. He's so cool. Those you love. And they call her Genova. Genova. She can appear inside her soul. So it's my connection to the life stream that's allowing him to manipulate me in this way. Did uh, did they see Sephiroth though? That's the question, right? All right, here we go. Get ready. Deal with that shit. Finally, get the assassin off. I don't know what that is. Good weakness. Any synergized abilities yet? Not yet. Get that dive kick off. Get Braver off. That wasn't a lot of damage at all there. arms, a bunch of eyes. Uh, they really stepped up the graphics here, though. Nope. Good. Oh, hello. Two strikes. Okay. Alright, good. One more. Good. Dive kick that. Genova emerged, but Stagger before the oh, that was so important right there. 
finish it. Seizing the Get in there. Keep it up. Let's do this. Problem here is I need to start uh, make a potion. Fortuitous, it actually didn't mean that at all. Nah, not Chocobo Mogul. Well, I then? Calls. So for Barrett, though, um, I want the item high potion for Cloud. Keep it together. Tifa, might as well. Mechanic Lance. I got this. I'm very close to how many times I gotta shoot you. Nice. They're everywhere. Don't panic. We can kill it. Perfect. Limit break. 
Quick Somersault, Cloud, Planet Break. So your ability with? No. Okay, slash. Yeah, that was sick. I got to watch that. the full cloud. Anytime we're trying Good something evening, new. Everyone. This is your captain speaking. I'm happy to announce that the earlier disturbance has been resolved. All passengers are once again free to move about the vessel as they please. I like how I like how Sephiroth is like a, a manifestation of clouds. And hope you wake refreshed and ready for fun in the sun. <sighs> Cloud's questions. Cloud's dark questions. You know? What are we at? Hour, to hour 46? It's not bad. Hey, chapter 6. We got through another chapter. Fool's Paradise. Yeah, anytime I'm about to play a new fighting game, it's like, you gotta play the fool. I, I, I swear, fighting games are better... Are the most um, eye-opening game when it comes to having to play the fool. Like, in order for you to get better, you just get you just have to get your butt handed to you over and over and over again to iron out the weaknesses of the lower level fights. You know, <sighs> there's nothing, nothing more infuriating than fighting games in that in that vein. And my evidence for that <clears throat> when Twitch had the professionals all playing different games and they were playing Street Fighter, the Twitch people were like, how, how do people like handle this? Like, this is ridiculous. There's nobody else to blame, that's why. Uh, you can't blame your team. Yeah, you can't blame the, the healer not, not uh, doing their job or the DPS not doing their job or the tank not holding enough aggro. Only you and yourself and often that becomes, I'm just gonna blame I'm going to blame the developers for making this other stuff so strong, you know? Right. So a little sightseeing couldn't hurt, could it? I mean, come on, we're in Costa del Sol, people. Costa del Sol! <laughs> a little sightseeing. Yeah, that is really endearing. Perhaps we could find some shade first. I'm about to melt. <laughs> could save you. <laughs> He doesn't have that much fur, man. Hang loose. Hang loose. Hang loose. It's that Hawaiian vibe, huh? Capono. I'm Capono, the mayor here. I definitely put on that Hawaiian. Here you are. That Hawaiian feel here, yeah. A gift to get you in the mood. Hey, Capono, aloha, man. There's nothing like a good leg to kickstart your getaway. <laughs> Some undertones really to that, right? Your eyes. A shimmering seaside paradise awaits you with only the bluest skies and earthly delights on all sides. <laughs> yeah, nature doesn't try to kill you a lot here. Being that we don't have snakes and mountain lions and bears. It's like Hawaii is like the proverbial tutorial mode. Let's find a hotel and shower first. Then we can go. <laughs> you better not be suggesting we all hit the beach. Oh, why not? Just a little time. A little R&R. Hey, &R. hey, I saw that. <laughs> Don't go thinking I didn't. You two said it with your eyes. Yeah, they did. That's pretty cool. Um, One thing is... 
I can't go back in here, so does that mean all of my side quests from the the ship are gone? Maybe they're onto something. You don't think those creeps Yeah, probably. I mean when I get to select the chapters, I'll be able to go back and do that. I'll 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 be able to be like the completionist, you know? Now, even I took advantage of the tourism back in the day. Used to, used to um, take coconut leaves and uh, the coconut fronds and pull out uh, the, the stems. And I used to weave like flowers and stuff like that. And there was a there was an older guy named Echo who taught me how to make the hat. Uh, I still wonder if I can make it to this day. I, I kind of have an idea of how to do it. And I need to challenge myself in order to do that. But Echo was an old Kumu. Kumu is like a teacher, a Hawaiian teacher. So it's, it's, a, it's a term of endearment, a term of respect. And I, was, I, would, I would make these things like fish and flowers and, and the hat. And I would sell that at the beach. And I would be able to get like a monopua from the, the shave ice guy that would come around. And uh, it would be basically like your ice cream men back in the day that would drive around. Uh, for us, it was like the monopua man for back down uh, back at the beach. But I was like, I, I would always be able to make at least 20 bucks to get uh, a bunch of monopuas and, you know, something for my friends, something to drink, things like that. So I remember... When we were younger, there were some people, you know, as as they are the the, the locals, you know, um, my local friends, just hated the tourists, hated what they stood for, would make fun of them and things like that. And the bus driver, a local man, pulled over one day and talked to them, and he was like, "Well, you guys do not know how lucky we are as a state." To be able to have people that want to come visit it, you know, it's 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 income. It helps the local people. Unfortunately, nowadays that insight seems to be lost. It's almost like it's almost like pure uh, a pure return to tribalism, like that we're better off without their money kind of thing. And it's like, well, you know, what of our what are our exports here in Hawaii? You know, other than tourism, everybody comes here because. It's a beautiful place. Like even even me living uh, living here, it is a beautiful place. Sometimes I I just take photos of when I'm down at the beach, for my uh for my colleagues, and it's like you know, this is what I drive down to, on the weekend. This is what I get to see. This is the beauty I get to surround myself with. You know, it's like Hawaii is beautiful, and we are very lucky that people want to come and enjoy the beauty as well. It's not a bad thing, but uh, a lot of the Hawaiian people nowadays are just absolutely lost. Don't even remember that their kings and queens would visit other places in order to gather knowledge, knowledge that was deemed essential. I mean, Kamehameha, he gets shot if you, you know, if you believe the tales, you know, he gets shot by a gun. You know, obviously this is a flintlock powder rifle back in the day. And instead of, like, bitching about the technology that this individual has, uh, I like to think that it, uh, it set his mind to looking at just how far behind his people were. And my evidence for that is when the English Navy showed up, Kamehameha didn't just slaughter all of them. He took two prisoners and had them, the prisoners, teach him how to rig his Hawaiian canoes in the English way. So that kind of set the precedent that the kings after that would seek to gain knowledge from the outside world in order to update their culture. And I loved that. It's one reason that, uh, that one reason why Vegeta is so important to me. Vegeta taught me how to be proud of my heritage warts and all like the warts themselves don't need to define the heritage 
you can be proud of your heritage for what they were that got you there and then what they can become. And the Hawaiians, my Hawaiian blood, the one that uh, the one that gives me a interesting kind of strength that we call mana, something that I've always had. Yeah, it's hard to explain, but when I would paddle, I could tap into something that did not make sense. I could tap into a raw strength that scared some of my friends. Like I remember my friend having a dream when I lost my temper in his dream. I I attacked somebody and he said he actually grimaced with every hit I landed on the person because they just saw that obviously I had a very bad temper, but in addition to that bad temper, I had this Hawaiian mana to back it up, this Hawaiian strength to back it up and so the gifts that my hawaiian blood uh has granted graced me with um and the point of view of my kings and queens of old are things that can be respected regardless of what the modern hawaiian people seem to stand for you know the way i look at it the hawaiian people were never isolationists like like uh the, the chinese mentality uh i was a great buddhist teacher um Ch chang um i went to china with him and uh he's he's where i he was kind of my avenue to learn confucianism he said china has a china mentality a great wall mentality where they blockade their their uh country they put up a wall around their country so that way it protects from the outside but they still have the silk road to go out and gather information so that that great wall mentality as he stated it was to go out in the world and gather data but also keep your culture um integrated and protected uh, from the outside so there was that great wall mentality i feel like the hawaiian people adopted the negatives of that great wall mentality without the positives that were absolutely indicative of the culture itself to learn and update and bring that back <clears throat> so right now nowadays there's like a fight against the 30 meter telescope tmt that's i'm sure people have heard it it made national news well the local people here on the island the vast majority were okay with that thing going up it was the vocal minority that uh that 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 spoke it out of existence because one thing that mauna kea has is the ability to look up in the stars and gather the knowledge that we can gather now there were some problems with it you know take down the 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 astronaut centers that aren't being used the the um astronomy centers that aren't being used right now and put up a telescope in its stead but i'll be honest with you folks i see the way like local people treat the land they do not treat it very well when they were up there and protesting the amount of rubbish what we call opala here in hawaii that they were producing that that would uh would fly from the winds up against the 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 fences of the military base up there was disgusting and the the 30 meter telescope people at least there was discussions for them to take care of the mountain as an as a necessity of putting up the telescope right there so there was great arguments on both sides but one side there was no negotiating at all like they absolutely did not want the telescope to go up and they wanted all the other ones gone they wanted it to return back to just a mountain you know and they of course as as they often do made a sacred argument for it right there but i'll tell you i have family local family a big local family here on the islands and they even said the polls that were being taken, the majority of the people were okay with that telescope going up. The same thing with the Super Fairy. The Super Fairy was going to offer a in-island travel between the islands at a cheaper rate than having to fly all the time. Like, I could go visit my family in Oahu, um, and I could, I could use my truck on that island because the super ferry would be able to ferry us to the other island. And they did extensive studies and extensive research to make sure that they weren't having a, a very big environmental impact 
It was it was so amazing all of the technology that went into the super fairy, but a few individuals who have that very uh, uh, great wall mentality of any type of progress whatsoever should be alienated and taken away. They're the ones who shut it, shut it down. The vocal minority. And then what do we have nowadays? We have local people saying they're being priced out of the islands. Well, because we don't have jobs here. We don't have th we don't have jobs for our local people who can make enough money. Every time there's a business that wants to bring jobs and put us on the map, when it comes to the 30 meter telescope or the uh, the pharmaceutical, the, I think it was a Daniel Inoy building that's that went up at the UH um, for a top notch pharmaceutical uh, degree. When these things happen, there's always this this pushback of this kind of like return to a tribal uh back to the old ways mentality something again to bring it around was not indicative of the hawaiian way the hawaiian kings sent their own children across seas to learn how to manage their people they did not hold on to knowledge in that way they sought the knowledge from the world and brought it back and i like to think it started with kamehameha when he was a young boy and he was he was shot you know and nowadays, I mean, look at what we've become. So to bring it around, that was my love. That's what Vegeta allowed me to be proud of. The things that got me here and the pride of being a Hawaiian and also being an American. Don't get me wrong. I am an American exceptionalist as well. But uh, that pride of being a Hawaiian, that strength that it has granted me. But also understanding the warts and all. I don't need to be proud of everything they do, but I can still be a proud Hawaiian. What is a Solaris? Hasten whoever drinks it. Oh, that's interesting. I don't see me using it, but I bought it anyway. Mm. Thanks for stopping by. I should transmute things. I haven't done that in a while. And then maybe I'll, I'll end right there. Well, actually, I should end when we get to the... When we get to a save point. Mm, mixed high potion, like that. Some ethers are always good. Oh, it's 500, okay. Okay. Sorry, 700. What am I looking at? Oy. Two planets favor every time I do that, though. Okay, so here we go. Still need zinc. Oh, look at that amulet. Nice. We need the ancient bark, wood, and the planet's venison. Okay. Here's the plus armors. So the enhanced copper. Okay. Enhanced wood. Okay. I have it. Why not? I think I've already done this, but the experience is nice. Hmm. Let's do the pluses. Why not, right? Why not? Another MK2 bulletproof vest. Another high, yeah, wrist guard. Uh, I already did that, okay. All right. Sailor's bracelet. Oh, that's a good one. Uh huh. It's got a couple more of those. Oh, don't have enough iron ore. More of those too. All right. Okay, I do. I do like the mixed high potion. Benison. I doubt I'm going to use the venison, though. What is the mist? Mist seed? What does it do? Oh, all allies. Hmm. 
I'm gonna need more high potions. Ooh, that's 10 sage, though. Yikes. I should have been doing that. I should just buy some more. Oh, look at that with the lays on. Okay, let me go buy some more high potions. <clears throat> Exactly like it. And then where's the beach? Wow. That just brought back where's memories right there. Two pizzas down on the beach. Copy that. Oh, look at that. Easy way to explore. That's cool. No, 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 no. Get, get, I don't want to. I don't want to do this now. Hang loose. Legitimate uh, Hawaiian greeting. Let's see. It's like, hang loose. Shaka. Mm. You'll find a bevy of fantastic shops lining Main Street. If you plan to spend the day shopping, I'd recommend getting a wheelie. They're fun and convenient. Mm-hmm. While we have plenty of options, you can't go wrong with either the Royal Coast or Costa del Sol Resort. They could have given them local Which accents, though, like records. Waka. Every hotel is booked solid today. Unless there's a cancellation, it'll be hard to find a room. Waka had that, uh, that pigeon accent. And yes, that is what they call it. Is that Chadley? Whoa. Shake it, shake it. Lucy Goosey. Have you tried this dance before? I didn't think myself a dancer, but I'm starting to see the appeal. Perhaps you might like to cut a rug with me sometime? <laughs> so, gravity material. Interesting. Not enough data at all, but. Needless to say, many hazards await you on the road. So take care. Hang loose! There's a surefire way to make seeing the sights even more mad by taking them in on a state-of-the-art week. If you're interested, we're doing a special for Just hop on one of these babies and ride around. You can even win fat. So how about it, friend? It oh, interesting. Distance traveled with these things actually gives you prizes. So, might as well, right? Now that's what I like to hear. All you need to do is pick a wheelie to rent, ride it to your heart's content, then claim your prize when you're done. I guess I have to, right? That's all weighted. Can I proceed there by wheelie? Interesting. Oh, that's a little fast. Oh, that's interesting. Another wheelie over there. I hate to say this, but we're closed at the moment. Ah, you could I can't buy there. some stuff. Welcome. Yeah, what do we have? Another booster pack, the seas of horror. Thanks for stopping by. Alright. Shell pull and crown lancer. Check them out. No. Oh, interesting. How how much? By two. Lower the power of al of allied and enemy on affected tile. Huh. Okay. Was a uh, Zamzelet. Uh, raise the attack. Raise the power of allied card by three. Yeah. Where's the other one? Oh, shut up. That's the one. That's the one. Yeah. By four. Wow, that's actually a really good card. It's a better Moo. Moo. Mm. By 
four, and you are by one. Yeah. I mean, any place I would use Shallopod, I, I, I would use Moo. So wait, wait, wait. All the way to the top. There we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. This thing's a little fast, though. A little segue, huh? I think that's what they call them. Chocobo. <clears throat> what is this? Sorry, but we're still setting things up. Yeah. Come back later. Everything's closed, just like the islands. Step right up. We've got the best selection in Costa del. Oh, I see you're a customer of discerning taste. Yeah, everything closes down early in Hawaii. On the weekends, you y'all'd be surprised what time places close. Like after five, <clears throat> things start shutting down. Like our mall closes. I want to say like seven. <clears throat> things are actually absolutely shut down on Mondays. Hey there, welcome. You in the market for material? Quite a few restaurants and the library as well just shut down. Barrier, right on. I'll take that. Okay. I have one of each. That's what I want. So, what do you think of our selection? Another, another set of Welcome. items? Looking to spice up your wardrobe with some accessories? Same thing. Oh, the headband. Grants immunity to sleep. Star pendant. Poison. Oh, oh, not that many. Oh, I've actually been spending too much. Oops. Our items go great with each you know. And then we've got the... This place is probably our best bet yeah. souvenirs. Pretty good selection, all in all. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Do they have a cute one that probably how it actually... I'm probably doing way better in the game than I would do in real life. <coughs> I've never actually been on a segue. We, uh... Okay. I have that one, have that one. Disorder still not there. I gotta use Disorder more. Actually, I own a mall, except for the bangles. Shucks. That's a good bangle right there. Dang it. Do I have things I can sell? I don't really use this anymore. Sailor's bracelet's good. But yeah, let's get rid of that. Right, let's get rid of that. This one's really good, so keep that. The enhanced, I'm not gonna use it. Oh, definitely not gonna use that. Possibility. I almost said the possibility that uh, Penny says the Big Bang Theory, because my wife and I, we make fun of that all the time. But I actually almost slipped up and said that in reality. <laughs> All right, here we go. How many can I get? I can get two. Okay, so from my magic, oh, that's that's her. She's at 54 now, so no. Two of these, not enough, Gil. Can only get one. Okay. All right, everyone, let's upgrade our, our equipment. Oh, that bangle, though. I 
The Abyssal Guard is good, but I'll lose one. So, mm, don't know. Aloe Bracer, Queen's Guard thing. Okay, so let's definitely give it to my magic person. The Abyssal? Okay. But that's for defense. Uh, Tifa. Yeah. Where's the Abyssal? Oh, it's just 17. Oh, but that's, yeah, that's two and one, though, so 17 is way better. <clears throat> okay, let's give her some of that new stuff that we have. Like the barrier. Allows you to use defensive spells. She legitimately needs, needs that other one, though. If you need me, hang loose. Hang loose. Brings down by 37, though. Oof. Bessel it is. You take care of yourself out there. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So lightning, cleansing, healing, and now what? Uh, MP up again? Nah. Fortification. That's actually pretty good. Where's my all materia? They're definitely not giving me that anymore. Warding resistance to. Well, I doubt it's actually warding, so let's just put it up here for now until I get a word, I guess. Okay. What is this? First strike, prayer, lightning, MP up. to start using her abilities. Okay. Oh, 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 Where's the bookstore? I heard they opened a materia pop stand. What? Why aren't we there now? Hang loose. Looking to fiddle with some folios? Ah, no, no. Yeah, I already did that one. Do, do, do. Hey, Cloud, want some ice cream to cool down? That tough one, Yuffie. You're obviously captivated by my bodacious beach bod. Nope. Nope. <sighs> nope, he says. Not interested. But that whole shtick doesn't make you cool. But if you were to hire truth yours truth. truly as your counselor of cool, I could show you how it's done. Yeah, I'm not hiding the fact that I never liked Yuffie. Tour, Coast of Del Sol is Sorry for those no, Yuffie really. fans out there. I am not one of them. Kind of with my wife there. My wife didn't like her either. 
But as far as a bodacious beach bod, nope. She does not have that either. And if that offends you, my tastes are my tastes. What can I say? And I don't need to apologize for you either. All you need either. to do is pick a wheelie to rent, <laughs> right into your heart. Ah, oh, where am I at? 200? Okay. No, no, not yet. We want that uh, pedometer. 4,000. Wee. I'll be right here waiting. What is this? No. I feel like this this keeps changing. Offer. Oh, I've yeah, I understand what this is now. I just realized. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's great about this is you can't actually fall off. game oh, I'm very sorry but we're still getting set up all right so Please. I'm guessing I have little games like that you know when this game was announced I was like I wonder for the uh, golden saucer if one of the mini games was just gonna be crisis core like how sick would that be if you have like the entire game of crisis core as one of the mini games in the Golden Saucer. You know? Obviously, I'm just going for the distance here, everyone. How easy is that, right? So this is something I could have done out off of uh, the air. I'm pretty sure it's four thousand. Where's my next drop off spot? Oh, turn around, man. Is it 4,000? Because I don't want to put my viewers through this. Yeah, it's 4,000. <laughs> Excuse me. No. All right, well, I guess I'm going to keep doing this for a little while, but let's see. 
that about does it for for this episode. We've uh, got to chapter six. We're at Costa Costa del Sol. So uh, Sephiroth appeared again, and uh, I'm guessing like uh, clouds, worries, and stuff like that are actually coming through. Now we know from the original that the, the life stream when Sephiroth entered the life stream and merged with Genova. He got the power to manipulate the Genova cells upon other things as well. He also was granted like all of the information and knowledge from the life stream itself, um, which I find phenomenal because that's very platonic in its orientation. You know that all knowledge is remembered from an, uh, from a, a a different area or a different world, a different realm, the realm he calls the forms. So it's like the idea that all knowledge is remembered. Well, the life stream itself kind of has this. Um, this characteristic to it that it actually holds knowledge so sephiroth now knows what Genova really is which is really interesting given that he he like decided to fight the human beings because he was under the impression that the human beings were the ones who killed the ancients and he thought he was an ancient because he was the son of Genova, which he thought was an ancient but then no now he's in the live stream and he understands exactly what Genova is and and still he, it's like all roads to lead to rome it's like uh, he just wanted to kill the people no matter what so i'm really hoping we get much more uh, exegesis in that uh, in that regard and obviously exegesis is much more of the biblical but you know Sephiroth does kind of um seem to represent uh that 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 religious aspect to uh to this world right here and his uh his uh his connection with Genova um, which was a calamity, not a benevolent God. So anyway, anyway, thank you all for those who joined. We'll start next time uh, right here at Costa del Sol. Um, and as usual, take some time with the classics because they will awaken that hidden dragon within all of you. Take care, everyone.